G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's product review time once again. I know it's your favorite time of the week, probably, who knows, probably not, but I don't care. But today I'm gonna to be reviewing this product right here. Mr. Chen's Char Siu Barbecue Pork with carrots, broccoli, and rice. It looks tasty AF, and I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see what it tastes like. Now on the back here, it's got quite a bit of a spiel about the product. You know, they're going to be talking it up. Let's see what they have to say about their own product. Right. And it says, it's been 30 years since we started creating Australia's favourite homemade dumplings. Now I'm proud to bring you authentic Asian meals from my family's kitchen to yours. Nothing beats the sweet, smoky flavours of succulent char siu. Pork marinated slowly in our sweet barbecue glaze with traditional or aromatic flavors of Chinese five spice. The hard work is done, so you can just heat, eat, and savor. Thanks for inviting us to dinner at your house. Regards, Mr. Chen. Well, thanks, Mr. Chen. Now, this photo does seem to have quite a lot of pork in it, but I'd like to know how much pork is actually in it. Well, let's find out. Right, well, the ingredients, well, rice is 48%, then there's char siu sauce, 20%, uh, what else? Potassium bitate. Char siu seasoning. Yeah, there's spices. Where's the pork? Molasses. Fibres. wonder what sort of fibres. And Oh, pork. Only 9%. And then after that is carrots and broccoli. Well, it's 350 grams divided by 9%. So there's probably only about 30 grams of pork in it. Yeah. Now, with all that char siu sauce, it's got to have heaps of sugar in it, right? Well, let's see. Energy, 1246 kilojoules, so you could have maybe oh, six or seven of these a day. Oh, yummy. Protein, well, it's only 3%. Fat is, well, very low, 1.4%. Carbs, well, that's average at 14%. And sugar, well, it's only 6.5%, really, but the sodium is up there, which to me sounds like it could be pretty tasty. Yeah. Anyway, let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like. Alrighty. Oh, well, that looks all right. There's heaps of rice in there. I can see the veggies and everything. All right, so let's figure out how to cook this. Cooking instructions. Cook from frozen, remove box and pierce bag in several places. Bag? What bag? I can't see no bag. Microwave for six minutes or until cooked through. Righty, eh? Carefully remove bag. Bag? What bag? I can't see no bag. Stir and cool for one minute before serving. Now generally instead of doing the piercing option, I always just do the lifting option. So I just lift it up in the corner a bit. Make sure you can see like in there. That's, that's, that's good enough for me I reckon. Okie dokie. Well. Six minutes. Well, six minutes is up. Let's take a look. Mm, interesting. I've got to tell you, this kitchen smells amazing too. Wow. It smells so good. But uh, does it look like anything like the picture here? Well, kind of, sort of, not really, right? I mean, I wish I had some of these sesame seeds on there. That'd be all right. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. And like I said, the smell, oh, it smells amazing. Here's the pieces of pork in there. They look all right. It looks like there's loads of vegetables in there too. Gee. And the sauce, well, it looks like there's plenty of that as well. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Wow. See what this pork's like. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's tasty. It just tastes like something that you'd probably get from one of those Chinese places. Okay, maybe not as good, not as fresh, but it still tastes all right. These veggies. Yeah. Mmm. And the rice, I mean, there's plenty of sauce on there. Mmm. Mate, so far it's just tasting authentic Chinese to me. Right, let's go. Mm. Mm. 
There's plenty of sweetness in that sauce, that's for sure. And the saltiness, well, it's not really over salty. I mean, the sauce tastes really good. And these veggies, I mean, they're pretty much overcooked, but uh, they still taste all right. But all in all, it tastes like something you'd get from a Chinese restaurant. Not as fresh, of course, with the veggies being so soggy, but the flavor of this is really nice. And I can taste the five spice spices in there. And all in all, I just think it's a pretty tasty meal. And there is plenty of sauce in there and it does tend to get kind of sickly sweet after a while, but it's not a bad sickly sweetness, but it is pretty sweet. And if you're not into sweet stuff, you might not like it. Would I go back and get another one of these again? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. In fact, I'd love to see what else they got in their range because I wouldn't mind giving those a go. As far as frozen Chinese food goes, this Mr. Chen's is pretty good. If you are into frozen foods, I hope this video helped you decide what not or what to try. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I try something frozen. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are famous.